Hi guys, so it's that time of the month again. It's time for monthly favorites. So I have tons of stuff here. I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into it. Um, these are the products that I love for the month of September. And I will start with my skincare. I was looking for a really good eye cream the beginning of the month. And so I ended up getting the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado and also the Kiehl's Avacene Eye Cream. These have been working great. I put this one on first, kind of let it soak in, and then I put this over it. And it really sinks into the skin and it leaves my eyes feeling really moisturized. Um, when you open these, it lets air in and it makes the product less effective. So what I do is just scoop it out with a little spatula like this and I put it into a little mat container. So I just put a little bit of each in there and then I use that every day so it doesn't ruin the whole jar. Next, the Boots Number no. 7 Serum. I've been using this as a primer. It's been working awesome. Um, really good serum. It's actually a beauty serum. Works great as a primer. Um, also, I broke out really bad earlier this month and I used the oil-free acne stress control. This is the three-in-one hydrating acne treatment and this cleared up my breakout right away. Um, I read this in a book. I'm not going to say the book because that's not important, but um, the lady that wrote the book was talking about how great this product is and it's a pick for a lot of different categories so this is good and next is um, let's see the foundation that I've been wearing is the Estee Lauder double wear and the double wear light these two together make the perfect combination this is a little bit heavier this is a little bit lighter so both of them kind of make it in the middle and they are super awesome foundations okay the eyeshadows that I've been absolutely loving, this one is Patina. I'm not going to do swatches because they never come out right, and I have tons of stuff, so I'm just going to keep talking. Um, Patina eyeshadow, which is this kind of like a nudie, shimmery color, super pretty. Also, Smut, this is the perfect smoky eye eyeshadow, and let's see... Coquette, which I use for my eyebrows, nylon for the inner corner. I've also been loving this brown from the Walking on Eggshells palette. It really brings out um, the brown and the golds in my eyes, so I really love that color. And let's see, Brulee. I use this every day as an all-over eye color, just kind of to dry the paint pot up and make everything blend better. Let's see... Um, the two jumbo eye pencils that I've been loving that I use every day are the NYX jumbo eye pencil in milk and then also I use the black bean not every day but with this eye look there's a tutorial coming up um, right after this that shows me using black bean which I have another tutorial too so I've been loving those um, the 224 blending brush I've been using this every day it's perfect just to get that shadow on the outer part of your eye it's like the perfect size and it just blends everything so nicely and this is like the airbrushed makeup brush so it's it just gives you that airbrush look and it really really does okay next um kitten eyeshadow i've been using this as an as a highlighter super pretty i'm wearing that today love that um let's see also, for my lip products, you guys know I love, um, this is, I can't think of the name. No, that's not it. Snob from MAC, which is a, kind of like a cool pink, like a lavendery pink dervish lip liner. And then Pink Whisper Lip Gloss, which this is my signature look, thanks to Prissy in Pink. She's like, that is your signature lip gloss. So... Um, let's see what else. Okay, so for hair products. Okay, so I have been using one product and one product only for the whole month of September. I got this as a free gift from an Ulta coupon. It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin. I'm down to here, and this is the only thing that I've been using after I get out of the shower. Um, it does so many things. I'm not going to get into it, but it's really good. It makes your hair feel so soft. When you put it in your hair, it detangles. It does just so many things. Um, yeah, it's just a really lovely product. And everyone's been complimenting on how shining my hair has been looking in these videos. So it must be working. Okay, next for hair, Batista Dry Shampoo. I absolutely love this. This is the best 
dry shampoo hands down that I've ever tried. It just, I could go like four or five days without washing my hair and my hair still looks clean. And even if I wash my hair, I still use it right afterwards because it just gives my hair a little bit of body and it makes it look thicker. So I absolutely love this. Um, I've gone through two already and I just bought two more. So that can tell you how much I love it. Okay, so next for perfume, um, I've been wearing Issy Miyake. This stuff smells amazing, especially with the cooler breeze in the morning. It just smells so good. I don't know what's in it, but this is one of my all-time favorite perfumes. It just smells so, so, so good. So if you're out and about and you see this, you need to smell it because it's amazing. Okay, for nail polishes, the three that I kind of stuck to the whole month was Essie's Merino Cool. Very pretty kind of, um, it's hard to explain, like a purpley gray color. And Go Go Girl from Sinful, the perfect red. I should have been wearing it with my outfit today. And this is what I'm wearing right now, and this is Dim Sum Plum. I wore this a couple times throughout the month. Okay, and I believe that is all of my favorite products. Um, I do use other products, but those are the ones that really stood out to me this month. Oh, one more thing, actually. Uh, MAC Prep and Prime, the line filler base. This is awesome. This fills in my pores, keeps my makeup on all day, keeps me from getting shiny, and I've been absolutely loving this. Um, so that's it. That's my favorites for the month of September. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you really soon. Bye.